Yo, what is up, everybody, and welcome back to another NBA 2K16 Rec Center game. We're back at it with the squad besides Brian. Brian not here today, so Michael's going to have to man up the paint by himself. And we're doing it against a veteran team, you would call it in the rec. They got a lot of games played. They got a good winning percentage, so these guys been there, done that. It's going to be a tough task to try to win this game, and we're going on the road for whatever that counts as we knock down two threes in a row to start the game, one by Michael, one by myself. But what I do want to talk about before we get back into this rec center game is to update you guys on MT Madness because in our final game of group play, I left it up in the air that we might advance to round two. So I didn't want to just leave it up in the air and not let you guys know, but unfortunately, we did not advance to round two. The chance we needed was to get in based off a of point differential because Stacks, as we throw the lot to Josh, he swept the whole group. He beat Mike, he beat Nick, and he beat myself, as you guys saw. So he automatically gets in. Then Nick, Mike, and I, we all got one win each. It came down to who had the best point differential in the games they played, and that ended up de being D-Flight Mike, so he was able to advance Nick the Bulls fan, and I got eliminated. So it was still a really fun tournament to do. It was really cool to get invited to do it. Shout out to the man Bud. Um, you guys don't know Bud on YouTube. He's the one who organized the whole tournament, got it going, so... I'm going to leave Bud's link in the description. What I want you guys to do, just one person do it for me, please, is go to Bud's like latest YouTube video or something. Go in his comment section and tell him Cookie Boy said thanks for allowing him to be part of the MT Madness. Because I had a lot of fun, and I can tell that to Bud myself. I just need one person to do it for me. I right? just one, maybe two. So, if anybody's got it, you know, go in the, go in the description, find the link, and let Bud know. Also, a uh, big shout out to the fight, Mike, because um, Mike helped me set up my team. Because I had a little bit of trouble setting up my UConn team. I didn't have enough MT or stuff like that. But Mike ended up helping me out a little bit. So we throw a lob to Josh, but he's not able to finish that one. I was getting a little bit frisky with the lobs early on this one. I was feeling ourselves like you were up like a lot of points against a good team, but... That ended up costing us in the butt, because they started making a little bit of a comeback. So, um, like I said, thanks to Mike for helping us out, getting us situated. And, of course, Bud for getting us in the tournament. And, of course, our opponents, Nick, Mike, and um, Stacks for giving us good games. So, you know, maybe we could do more of that kind of stuff in the future. Maybe I could get better at my team. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if you guys want to see more of my team in the on the channel, man. Let me know in the comment section. I don't know if you guys like that whole like mini adventure into my team doing the tournament. Obviously, we have a lot of room to improve, but we did give Nick and Mike two pretty good games. Of course, the overtime game against Nick was quite the thriller. So, I mean, I could get into my team. The one reason I don't get into my team too much is because I'm not really that into... Um, Playing with the bronze players and stuff like that. It makes you play with bronze players before you can play with the good players. And that's kind of dumb because all the bronze players suck. You know, it's just like a toss up. But I don't know. I might do it if you guys want to do it. It sounds like a fun idea to maybe get into my team. Maybe next year we'll get into it. I don't know. I just need you guys' feedback in the comments section. But for now, we're going to do some rec. I like posting rec games. I love playing these rec games, pro end game, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that I know right now is we're knocking down our threes at a high efficiency 100% efficiency. And that's to get that shot out of here. Michael with the big time block these guys made the comeback in the second quarter like i said they're a veteran team so you know we got a little bit cocky and that ended up costing us because they started making the smart plays but they haven't exactly gotten to the lead we're playing some good defense right here but they're gonna get a layup to make it a five point game this was once like a 12 point game they made a big run near the end of the first quarter denny ties driving oh and throwing it down the 511 point guard with the hops as you see the end of the quarter josh with the ball swinging it around that's the cpu from mid can't knock it down no the cpu was trash that we had right here cpu didn't even make a single shot so far over two shooting both of them open looks but he doesn't have three steals though the one thing about cpus when you play in the pro-am they can get a lot of steals just by you know staying disciplined in passing lanes and just being in position just touching the ball and they get the steals you know so it's, look at this won't steal the inbound pass that's not really discipline. That's just playing like a maniac. And this is Denny Tice still not missing from downtown. We were three for three from behind the arc so far. And we're back up eight. But here they go off the inbound pass going coast to coast right there for whatever reason. This team, they were predicated on their front court. Their big man, Bo, had jump shots, which is a little bit hard to handle. And then um, their small forward was doing a little bit of work as well. The front two guys, they weren't really doing too much. The point guard was a pure point guard. He was getting assists. He wasn't really shooting. This is John. Josh in the paint, getting it to go. Josh starting to heat up in the third quarter. Seems like once we get to the third quarter, that's Josh's time to shine. We find Walsh. Walsh going to try to kick it around. That's Josh. That's a deep two, and Josh has got it to go. I don't know why the third quarter is Josh's quarter, but it just is. He just finds a way to get open. He finds a way to create a shot, whatever it may be. Walsh, Ub, and I, we're all finding him open. You guys see Josh taking 13 shots, but 
he's making most of them we've taken a couple of shots ourselves maybe a little bit higher scoring than you might expect from Denny Tad because we're mainly the point guard on the team we're here to facilitate not exactly score but they're leaving us open and we're knocking down our every single three we've taken so far as you guys see they got impatient right there and they end up throwing a turnover with their big man a spin move by Denny Tad he's drawing the double team the open man there he is again Josh I don't know why they won't play defense when the dude has the most points on our team but that's okay with me man you see Michael finding Josh nice find by the big man but Josh is gonna find us back bang four for four from downtown for Denny Tice you see Walsh call for the bad region right there and that's gonna send to the free throw and they make both near the end of the third quarter driving trying to create one more bucket Denny Tice looking for the open man Walsh corner bang at the buzzer right there Walsh knocks it down from downtown everybody getting involved right here trying to stay perfect from three but it doesn't help to try to stay perfect from three when you take shots like that you see Walsh get called for another reach and foul right there so we're able to weather the storm third quarter you know we locked back in everyone got involved Josh like I said heated up and here we are uh, with a nice double digit lead Ub's doing a good job rebounding in the paint here he is with a three but his shot was cold for the most shot he and Walsh both were cold for the most part in this game as you guys see they're pushing it on the break missed the shot look at the CPU fighting for the board and look at the CPU with the outlet pass to an open cherry picking Josh who throws it down and we're just trying to get out of this game with a W. Because these guys, they're fighting. They keep on pushing. They keep on making their efforts. But as long as we execute, we should be good. With the lead we have, with the little cushion we got as we find Michael. Everybody's in the same spot for whatever reason. But we eventually moved the ball around. Josh, that's a three. And it goes in right there. CPU might have had a layup, but you can't really trust CPUs with those kind of shots. So Josh called for it very smartly as we fade and missed the three-pointer right there. And he was able to make a corner three himself. The CPU was shooting 0 for 5, so there's no way we're letting that guy take that shot. As you can see Josh with the ball, finding Michael. Michael in the post. Whatever reason, not getting rid of it. He ends up turning it over. Here they are on the break, pushing. They got a little man in the paint. He takes it over to CPU. Got to go seven-point game. We're not out of the woods just yet. We can't exactly collapse into this one is we get double team we kick it to josh for three bang that's absolutely cold bloody no hesitation beginning of the shot clock people don't even think of taking that shot josh just let it rip and he oh man that was the dagger right there and that's one hell of a dagger that's what we like to call mamba mentality that's what we joke with josh because he keeps on pulling up those shots like he's kobe bryant and he makes them like he's kobe he ends up being the leading scorer of the team you see michael had a good rebounding thing walsh and i did our job moving the ball around we had a lot of shots made for our point guard and that ends up being the game we've watched this video if you guys enjoyed it subscribe for more rec center and my career whatever you guys like even my team who knows let me know in the comment section about that and i will catch you guys next time